Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play with Bones, this guy here. Uh, today we are doing Hypercharge Unboxed again because there was an update. So we are going to do this. Uh, I had mentioned before to you all that I would be doing this again when there was an update. Now let's show you a few things here that have changed. For one thing, you'll notice this I like that his waist turns like that, by the way. You'll notice this here. Uh, oh no, no. Um, so, this guy here. These two are locked now. The different heads are unlockables. The different skins are unlockables. But, the reason for this isn't just that they basically updated, upgraded it and then locked everything. That's not how it works. They actually added a bunch of new stuff as well. So it's not the same stuff over and over again. Um, which I dig that actually. I think that's kind of cool that they've done that. So I'm actually really curious to see what some of these other things are that they have uh, added in here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep that the way it is. So, they have also change their maps around a little and I think they've done quite a bit that's cool with their maps. Uh, I'm not gonna lie here, I, I enjoy it. So I am, um, uh, and the names, you can unlock more names for yourself. So let's go to the maps here. Um, I gotta go to word in Operation Alley, so these are the three maps I have right now. Toy Palace, I still have to undo. Air Hockey Shuffle sounds awesome. Uh, the attic one I had trouble with before, but I'm curious to see how I will do now. So, what am I doing here? Um, and it's pretty easy, I think, to figure out uh, what you're doing. Just gonna get. There we go. Don't get me wrong, I love Down of the Toys, it's a fun one, but. Uh, I played it on other people's servers. I could start the game now, or I could wait for other people to join. Um, let's start with Operation Alley, please. No, you dick. Did I do that right? No, I removed it. How would I remove it? Boom. Okay, so anyways. So. We're gonna select difficulty. I can do casual. I try to do regular on games, so I think I'll try regular. Maybe I'll try casual this time. I just uh, show you guys what's changed, and I'm guessing where people will hop into it. We'll see. If not, uh, after this round, we'll go and find other people. You also notice here that the uh, build has changed quite a bit. The way you build, I like this better. Also, you'll notice that that film came off. I came right out of the package here. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, there are obvious nods to things like Nerf, uh, some of these other toy lines. I think it's cool. Uh, and again, fantastic optimization in this game. Probably the best I have ever seen when it's come down to a fully optimized game straight out of the box. And some of you are probably like, oh yeah, yeah, you're just saying that, but genuinely, you're talking to somebody who's been around since Atari times, and I really feel like this game, for the very decent texture work they do, uh, some of you remember me marveling actually at the metal brush texture there on the battery, which seems like a small detail, but it's really not, because it's all those small details that matter. You know, it's, I mean, if you think about it, to somebody... Um, out there who would really want something like that. So now we're going to go and look at the different power nodes in the game, and I'll show you guys kind of what these things do, right? So, you hold this, insert a battery, and then I can put something here. So let's put a poison trap. This will help protect it from some baddies. Uh, we're just going to look around a little, guys, first. And I'm also giving 
others who may want to join a chance to join if nobody wants to join that's still fine uh you remember on the last let's play we ended up with a few people joining in and that was pretty fun um now one thing i would like to see added to the game still although i know that the devs have a lot going on and they added a ton to this one so it's not like an immediate demand but down the road i think some form of player bots would be fun. An option to have player bots who maybe aren't as good as normal players, but will help you fill up the four player feeling. Because I do, I'm not going to lie, with all four players going, this is easily one of the best games I own. Um, I think what makes this game so different as well, guys, is that this is a, a cooperative instead of a uh, Yeah, I think the fact that it's a cooperative is a fantastic change. So here we are, we're going to have some enemies that are going to come out of the woodwork here to attack us. I don't know, I'm not sure who's doing what here. But we have enemies coming from somewhere, I'm sure. So we're going to go and meet them in battle. So let us go and do that, guys. Yoing! Uh, so, I do not know where they are, but I believe they are coming from there. Are they coming from there? Are they coming from here? Where are they coming from? Uh, I do not yet know. That's, oh, oh god, there they are. Alright. I see the sneaky little shits. That means they're gonna be up here or something. Oh my god! Get away. Now, this is, again, a lot easier as far as easy mode goes than I would normally find guys so don't assume that the normal game is this easy. Regular is a lot harder. I figured I'd start on casual this time because I want to really feature a lot of the stuff that has been added and changed as well. Um, there are many more enemies I can tell you now right off the bat in regular like normal mode. Um, the music, as always, is fantastic in this game. Oh my god. Uh, these guys remind me of these sort of, um... The... And I feel like every toy store had them. The robots you would get to put batteries in that were not necessarily fantastic, but... There were those ones that had tons of bells and whistles and flashing lights. They remind me of a smaller version of them. Mixed with, like, a GoBot. Who remembers the GoBots? Do you remember them in the comments? Let me know. My favorite GoBot personally, uh, big shout out here if y'all remember this one, was that thing that ate the other GoBots. It was this cool toy. Um, and to stop it, they always had to hit this button on its stomach. So the actual toy came with a feature where you could don't turn it off by pressing the button on its uh, chest or tummy, I can't quite remember which, but uh, it was a cool toy. Um, GoBots actually had a pretty cool base too, I remember, as far as like a base goes for their toys. Now one thing I'm not doing great is deciding what to build here, so I need to look for some extra goodies. See, like even right there, I'm wasting a lot of build points. Um, I know one thing, I, I personally think they will probably adjust, but I don't know for sure. So this isn't me talking to dubs and finding out, this is my own opinion. Uh, I've seen some players uh, discuss whether or not they will adjust the build price for things. That seems like a thing that I could see them playing with the dubs and fixing if they feel it's... They're very responsive, I'll say, um, in dealing with this stuff. They're very responsive to things fans say, they were responsive to concerns, they've been very excellent about all of that stuff, I feel. Um, you know, I had a few questions for the devs, and, and uh, when I had first got an interest in this game, even, asked them, and was very promptly responded to, um, and, uh, uh, even as I said last time, you know, I've had a lot of fun with this game. Um, and when you consider there aren't many games that combine tower defense with something like this, is it worth a buy? Yeah, I'd say it's worth a buy. 
Um, not to mention, I also find it pretty innovative, I'll be honest. Uh, the idea of games with toys, I love small soldiers, or uh, not small soldiers, oh yeah, yeah, small soldiers in the movie was cool. Um, the classic army men concept, I grew up playing with classic army men, alright, so... Uh, and me and my friends had a kind of game that used uh, dice and all that that we used. They made a whole big event. And but every Sunday had these giant wars with the army men. Um, we would all meet at the park and every person had a different color army, you know, different color plastic for the army men. And we would use that and, jerks, and we would, oh you little, that's where they're coming from. See what I'm saying though? It's clever man. Every little things they do in this game. But I like that, it keeps me on my toes, you know, as I'm missing every damn shot. Horrible at this, what's wrong with me? Um, but no, there's... Sorry, guys. There's a lot of that stuff. No, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know our updates have been infrequent. Uh, and I will be frank. One reason is I was waiting for this to update, and two, uh, I was waiting to for the devs to... Uh, add in the latest patch for it, because, let's be honest, every time anything updates, whether it even be Windows or whatever, there's usually a patch to fix a patch. Uh, the devs were pretty quick on bug hunting. I wanted to get a few more games settled, and a few more games, uh, in our library to give you all some fresh content. So, we're going to be doing quite a few Let's Plays now of games that I... Won't be doing like part twos of, but new games. Um, including a few I really want to do, but this is my birthday month. So, so far it's been good to me. Uh, so, what do you guys think of this game so far? I, I personally, check this out, man. I like the lighting. I'm a pretty simple guy when it comes to this stuff. I feel like the, I have a lot of kid in me still, you know. I should see a doctor. <laughs> No, I know. That gets horrible. Um, no, I, I mean, there is a great... Yes! I also like that, by the way. They changed the pickups. I think they look a bit cooler now, in my opinion. So now I need... How many credits do I need to build a little buddy? I'm holding out to build a little buddy. Guys, that's what I'm doing here. No rest for the bones, guys. No rest for the bones. Alright, you little punks. Now that I know you guys climb on the rafters, let's see where you little shits are, eh? See? There they are. Um, so... What else is new? I will tell you all. We have a new member of the household. Uh... As some of you all know, we have adopted a dog uh, before. Uh, and some of you know that uh, our cat had passed away. We now have a new cat we adopted. Because, guys, if you want a pet and you can do a rescue, please do a rescue. Not just because of the fact that shelters are getting overrun, but so many of these animals already have a lot of heart and personality. Uh, a lot of the time they come with vaccinations already done. Your first vet visit is prorated, so it's 20 or 30 bucks for a checkup. Tons of reasons to do it, and the only one not to is to just get a purebred of some breed. Um, and let's be honest, at the end of the day, it's kind of more about finding the right fit for you with a pet, is it not? Uh, and this cat, as soon as we checked it out, just crawled right into my lap and was awesome and so they are a tiny cat they are not like space cat they are a black cat with green eyes and only nine pounds so look for them in an upcoming video maybe this one if they hop on my lap uh oh that's not good i've been neglecting that one crap 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 let's go let's go king go all right so guys um oh, papa's not doing good here at all. Come on, baby. Let's get this. Oh, God, what am I doing? I'm the worst jumper of all jumpers of all time. Okay. 
get off my damn base, little assholes. Come get some. Erica, Erica. I don't even know what the hell I'm shouting. Remember the Alamo and Oz and... Uh, what a great show Oz was. Anyways. Victory! We did it, guys! Beep, beep. So you can see, you can, yes, I get a new trap! Ludo! Uh, I actually remember really digging Ludo, so... Let's play with that. I got a gold award, baby. Alright, so guys... Right into the next level here. We're still gonna do uh, that. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. We got a new trap, baby. So yeah, this is a fun game. We're gonna play a little more here. Cause I'm not gonna lie, this game gets pretty catchy and a little addictive, frankly. Um, but hey, no regrets. Not a, not a single letter. Now this is one I was excited to show you all. Look at how awesome this level is. Oh my god. Is there a secret in here? No. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but again, I love the little details in this game. And guys, look at how good everything looks. They're in jokes. Get your skin finally in shape. Blah, 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 blah. Ask me anything. Uh, look at how good the water texture is. And this is running at 2-2. Uh, how many games? <laughs> I never read that one. Oh, that's amazing. That's even better than the last one. Good lord. We're gonna do a different strategy this round, maybe. I'm only gonna do two poison traps in the beginning of the game here, and we're gonna save up for the buddy for the rest of this. I regret doing them here already, I will be honest, after I've already hit it, and there's a reason, and I'll show you. This map, I feel anyway, is a tricky one. In the way that they place things. Oh my god, I suck at jumping in games. What is wrong with me? Mario uh, and his plumber brother would not be impressed with me at all. Oh, the deodorant stick is funny, man. Max Stink. Zergush. So, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of tongue in cheek humor in this game that you really gotta have some respect for because I find it funny. I mean, it doesn't mean you have to find it funny, but I personally find it funny. I'm saying here um, that this game mixes so many things, but the thing I like too is it has that great kind of 80s toy feel without trying hard. You know, I feel like it didn't have to try. It just it feels, uh, for lack of a better term, I guess it just feels right. It just fits. The toys really do look plastic. I feel like they look like toys. I don't feel anything is out of place there. Um, so that's pretty neat, I think. I, I like that. Uh, pro tip number one here. Grab everything you can. Look around. Use your time, if you're in solo, to look around. Um, to see what you can see. To see what you can see. Eh, someone needs to clean this toilet. By the way, don't fall in there, because somebody didn't flush. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you all, that was a fun little tip I found out the hard way the first time I played this. And now we are going to start the game. Let's see if the dog will come up here. She might. Come here. You want to be on camera? Come on. Apparently we got one dog under here. Let's get a dog in here. Come here. He's happy to see you all. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, baby. You all remember him, of course. It is Mutant Dog. Dun dun dun. Who is tired, because he always is. Um, he pretty much just chills out and sleeps. He's, he's, he lives a charm life. Oh, no. I do not like these. Now, this is a harder round by far. These tops are a brutal, brutal enemy um, if you get in their way. And don't get me wrong, the first wave may look easy. Um, I've never done this on casual, so yeah, it's starting off a little slower, but I'm not gonna lie, I do appreciate that in casual, because these things do some major damage to things. This is one of these boards 
where when you're playing with your friends or even just internet strangers, you're going to bond because there are going to be times you have to kind of know what you're doing and think of a strategy and type it out to each other. Um, I would highly suggest making sure you all focus on teamwork. The tops are dangerous, the shotgun is slower to reload, so you're going to have to think of this stuff. Now you can see these vents here, enemies are going to come out of the vents on this level. So do not believe the hype about there being not enough enemies, because they will surprise you. And you will have your bases getting their asses whooped and not being aware of the whoopery. So be aware of the whoopery, guys. Be aware, be very aware of the whoopery. Because the whoopery will happen. Um, again, we are not going to go and uh, place the uh, batteries and a lot of other things. Uh, just, or not the batteries, we're not going to go and place more of those because I'm saving up for the, uh, for the other thing here. Um, now, I, again, I have to say, this game uh, interested me when I first saw it. it. took me a while to pick up because I usually, uh, I tend not to spend a lot of money on myself. And although I am a avid gamer and love games, it's just one of those things that I myself have not spent a lot of time in. I should, since I'm uh, somebody who loves games, but I just, I don't know, I tend not to spend a lot of money on myself ever. Um, other people can probably attest to this that know me, I tend to buy other people lots of stuff and blow a lot of money on them in a day before I will buy myself, like, a $10 thing. Um, and then when I do, I have that whole virus remorse. Is anybody else like that? Where you're like, oh no, I shouldn't spend money on I don't know why. Frankly, I just I've really, I've just kind of been like that. Um, anyways, that's my rambling. Let's get back to the game here. So each board has its own little theme. Um, I am really impressed with this update because I feel like it added a ton of new stuff. Um, and the proof is in the showing, and we're showing this whole level. I don't recall being there. That's for sure. The levels they did do, the original one was a toy alley, and that one was fun. But do I feel like these levels are better? Uh, by far better. I feel like they've shortened the distance. They've tightened levels up. Everything feels like it's more optimized. I feel like they have certainly shortened the uh, distance between you and the enemy. But it's nice because it lets action happen a little more, and you're waiting less. Now, in this one, of course, because I picked casual, it's not going to be as hard, but I do feel like, in general, there's just more you can do. Um, now, also, weapon mods, you find them in levels. I'm not quite sure uh, at first if I was loving the unlocking system, but I'm not going to lie to you, if Grow on me pretty damn quickly. Um, once I realized that they didn't just... I, I think the worry most people will have is did they just lock all the stuff that was free? No. They redid a lot of stuff. They have added a ton of stuff to this. Even new enemies. Um, I feel like the lighting has been redone. I don't know if it has or hasn't for sure, but... Uh, it looks really nice in these tops. I, I don't think they had a glow before. They certainly have a really nice glow now. Uh, and like I said, a game like this is all about small details that make it more fun. Now, I don't know what these do, the cherries here. I don't know how to get them. I think these probably fix my health if I need health. Um, I don't need them right now. Uh, I played one other time where I was the guy who sat back and mowed down the taps. We had another guy who dealt with robots coming out of vents. So we all worked together, and because of that, I did not get in harm's way as much as they did. Uh, so I cannot attest for what exactly happens with the cherries. Um, but, cool nod to Pac-Man there. Oh my god, there's another guy. So let's say hello. 
just for the sake of all this. Hello! Go with me uh, YouTube Rick. Let's hope he doesn't leave, guys. Did he leave? No, he didn't leave. Good man. It's okay, you see Spear Guy here. That's two of us, real quick while I'm waiting. I think he's in down mode. Uh, and what's going on? So let's watch Spear Guy. And we got another person who's probably going to hop in here. Uh, I don't know for sure. But we'll see. That is Sardas, our friend from the uh, one of the other videos actually that I have done. Um, which was the forest, if you all remember. Now look at this one, Cousin Itch. Being an outsider in a strange family. But that's what I mean, man. There's so many great jokes in this one. Um, gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. I don't remember if there's a battery in the green one, guys, is there? Is this so? There's a battery in all three, then. Yeah, okay, there is. There we go, guys. Now, I am just waiting on this dude. I am ready to go. Okay, so he's ready to go now. So I'm gonna stay down here near the damage zone. Skier's gonna uh, be in the other one, which is nice. Oh, nope, he's going up front. We got a third? I don't know. I feel like uh, if they added one big thing I'd like to see added to the game, a cool sound, maybe something playful, something retro. A little noise when a player joins would be cool. Like, a, you know, just a quick, like, doo-doo-doo, or some sort of power-up sound or something. Ooh, or... Since they also made the amazing arcade uh, game where you get to build your own arcades, which is, guys, if you haven't played it, mwah, incredible. You really need to. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, you all really need to be playing that one if you have not. Because it is the shiz. By the shiz, uh, I was trying a new thing. Was that hip? I don't know. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm making it work. Can I do that? Can I just make a word? Let's do that. This is... It's technically already made, but I'm bringing it back. Oh, shit. They're going up there now. I got this. So, here's what I'm saying, guys. Is, uh... Maybe, like, a coin-up sound. Like, a coin sound. Like, clink, clink, clink. You know, or, like, a... The sound when you drop a coin in an arcade when a new player joins would be pretty cool. And appropriate, I feel. Um, just a thought for the dubs, you know. No biggie, but I think it'd be pretty neat. Alright, one of us has to get down there then. Guns is this dude have? Uh, dude, in the middle of a let's play. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, Sardos is good people. I'm hoping that we get a few more, uh, let's plays together. It was gonna be in this one. Uh, he also owns this game. Whoa. And again, guys, if you have not yet picked this game up, I, I really cannot recommend this game enough. Um, this is not, you know, I'm not getting paid to review this. The games I like, I will tell you I like. If I think they suck, I'll tell you they suck. This game, unabashedly, does not suck. It is fun. Probably one of the more fun games I guess I've owned. Um, the dog is under me now, the big one. I swear to you all, we do own one. One of these days I'll get her uh, on camera. She is... Uh, we found out what breed she is, by the way. She is Pitbull and Miniature Boxer Mixed. We weren't sure what the other breed was. We just knew she was uh, Pit and something. So... I'm waiting on this dude right now. 
So anyways, guys, how are you liking the game so far? I hope uh, quite a bit. If you have not already subscribed, subscribe. Share us on social media. Tell your friends about us. We are reworking our puppet section. We have some great ideas for some really funny things we want to do with Gary. Um, we get enough people that like his puppet videos, and we're even thinking of adding a new character to the mix. Uh, why have we been so infrequent? There have been tons of things, yes, but uh, quite honestly, the end of the uh, reason is frankly that we just had a lot going on that we were not able to keep up with. We thought we could keep up with it, we could not. And at the end of the day, uh, there was a discussion on whether or not to keep the channel going, stop the channel, and I enjoy doing the channel. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Shelly, everybody else enjoys the channel, so we're going to keep the channel going. Um, yes, it's been slow going here and there, guys, but let us get up to steam again. We're working on it. Um, sometimes in life, your best made plans don't always work the way you want. We had a lot of stuff. We bit off more than we could chew. The schedule for the games originally was insane. I was doing three per week. There are some that do three a month. There's some that do a lot more. But the difference is, this is their job. This is a hobby for us. We do not make money off this. We are trying to monetize eventually. I would love to make this my job. If you want to help this become my job, share us. Share us, share us, share us. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you want to do a good deed for the day, share us with somebody, and subscribe. Even one share helps. Um, and of course, if you want to really be awesome, pick up the damn game if you haven't. Look at this. Yes! A new map. Now, I think this is the original when we started Toy Palace, uh, if I remember. I locked Beats. It's a new HUD. I've unlocked Yes, the fire trap. One of my favorite traps. I'm very excited about this. And we've got a cold award, baby! Look at that, biggest hang time. Honey Badger. Power Giver. Worst accuracy is me. Worst accuracy is me. Uh, Punch Master. I don't even know who the hell that is. Maybe he came in at the end there, that guy. So, interesting stuff so far, guys. Okay, so Pro 3 is in now, the other guy must have left, um, so yeah, I mean, this is a really fun game that I feel like all of you should be able to enjoy, we're gonna do this last board with uh, Pro 3, let's see what he does, um, but I mean, look at this, now that is their other game, um, Reddit PC Master Race, and the funny part is, although I am solely a PC gamer, yes, I do not own a Nintendo Switch yet, Nintendo, if you want to hook me up, baby, I do Let's Play your games too, I will. Uh, <laughs> I would get, I would have already owned it, but Papa's got bills, and groceries, you know, and three pets to feed, and uh, that stuff's got to be a priority in real life. I envy some of the uh, younger generation that you all do not have to do that stuff as much. Some of you do, and kudos to you all that are holding on the fort for your family at a younger age. My hat goes off to you, my heart goes out to you, because that is not easy, man. I know that, because I've been there. Been there. Um, but yeah, so all of you out there who are dealing with that, um, more power to you guys. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, my original point here is that, uh, yeah, for some reason, despite being a PC gamer, I am not on the Reddit's PC Master Race thing. Which, again, it's kind of funny when you think about it. You think I would be, but I'm not. Um, also, huge shout-out to Digital Cherries, the company that's done this, another fantastic game. 
that uh, this is a bog run. If you do not know what a bog run is, it was one of my favorite friggin' toys ever. It was a foam latex hybrid puppet that had a switch to make the eyes move around. Glowing eyes, they glowed in the dark. Uh, the foam latex, or foam rubber I believe it was, face was incredible. And on top of it, guys, it was a cool, cool toy. Um, came in a thing that looked like a cool box, like a cage. Just awesome stuff. I really wish nowadays they'd redo them just the same way, Bob Benz, and re-release them. I would buy one all over again. Here's a fun toy story. Growing up, I always wanted a My Pet Monster, because again, I'm an 80s kid. Never had one when they re-released some years ago. It was truly bought one, just so I could own something I had not got to own as a kid, because uh, my family did not have that kind of money at the time. Uh, and some of my money went to other things, um, like trying to get stuff for my brother, my sister, and even my mom and dad, uh, and of course He-Man and, and uh, Thundercats. I was obsessed with He-Man and Thundercats. So yeah, talking about the retro toys, we're playing a retro toy defense game. So, in a nutshell, the basics of the game. You have three cores. Stop the robots from destroying the cores, or whatever toys want to destroy it every round, with your friends, using a mix of your shooty skills, i.e. the action portion, and the defenses and traps and other items you lay down using points. Uh, continue, rinse and repeat, until you... See, there's a gun mod I just found. Uh, Rinse and repeat until you successfully defeat the level one and unlock more things, and keep going. And that's the game in a nutshell. So it's not actually too difficult to figure out. Uh, to power each section, you grab a battery, you put it in that little thing that looks like a satellite. And uh, see like there's the red uh, core right next to it. The red power station. Green core, green power station, da da da, blue core, blue power station. And uh, those are pretty much all the mechanics of the game that you need to know to really play it well and be a pro. Some tips I would recommend. Don't all stand in the same spot for one. If you got a guy, say like up here on the bed, you go somewhere else. If, see like he's up here on the window, so I'm going to jump up here on the bed for this next wave. So we can cover a little more ground and I can blank it. See this gives me a good vantage point of here and there. I'm going to sh- oh, I guess I'm not. Let me shoot here, so I can try and show him, hey, you, can you go up there? We'll see if he listens. And, uh, no. <laughs> it's still later. It's alright, it's alright. Still got a lot for you, homie. And this, you will notice, is one of the, uh, rocket launcher peel pills. The, uh, the... Buddies. Well, I'll check my phone really quick while I wake him. Because I'm multitasking. But yes, we have quite a few games coming up, and I'm excited for that. Including, uh. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter right now. Let's finish this one. But, uh, I feel very revigorated. I feel like we worked out a lot of the kinks in our stuff. We are getting a new lighting system again, guys, so please bear with us, and then the videos will look less washed out of me. Um, the mask thing is because, frankly, I am not as important as the game I'm playing, and yes, but we want to see your face. True, but at the same point, look at how well one of my personal favorite Lux players, Critical, did. Never showing his face. Critical uh, was hilarious. He's my MVP Let's player, if I have to be honest. It wasn't these other guys. It was Critical who was incredible. Incredible. And look at me dropping the ball there, guys. That was horrible. Yeah, I know. Sorry. 
My bad. Shit, we missed one. That's not gonna go well. He ain't gonna be happy with that, but look, we do what we do, son. So yeah, we lost uh, Core there, and uh, you can see it in the upper left corner. That is what happened. No blue. So this is our blue course. You have to go away. Um, I'm sure some way maybe to sacrifice some of our build points and rebuild one of them, like our power it, and then the next round if they don't get it again, we can slowly add plating back. It would be cool. Um, I don't know though. Maybe that's too overpowered. I don't know yet. So right now we are waiting. I'm waiting here for a steer guy to decide what he's doing. But yeah, I have a few different, a uh, few different little things here that we are going to do for Let's Plays and all that, that I think will be fun, personally. I do. Um, we... Right now I'm just goofing around, waiting for a steer guy. Who's clearly more qualified than me. Oh, no, look, 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 guys. Let's take a look here. So we have a wall here, you can see. I'm going to help him fortify this, because I like what he's doing. I like where your head's at. Because that we can jump over that still. But it should help, frankly. And that's why tops are dangerous, guys. Tops don't play. Tops are the tops! <laughs> Not really, though. Tops are dicks. Not really, they're tops, but you know. Um, so, yeah. Interesting, interesting mechanics in this game. Uh, again, I used to really dig tower defense games a lot. I got addicted to them for a while. If I'm being honest here. I quit after I noticed for quite a quite a while that they all kind of felt like the same game. That's another thing I really dig about this, is by adding action to the mix, and it's really a hybrid I have not seen. Uh, and if you have, I don't know where, because again, I played lots of games in my day. I've never seen something like this. Um, I personally find it amazing. I do. So, yeah. I'm just wasting points, but hey. Yeah, baby. We're getting it. So the general idea, guys, is I think this should be our last wave of them. Can I do one of these here? Can I do one I can? Do I got enough to build anything else? I believe I do. What are you doing? Oh, okay. I don't have enough for more. Oh, oh. But, again, you can see all the different stuff you can do in this game. Um, now, the reason that I, in particular, 
would recommend this isn't just the hybrid, it's not that at all. I think this is just such an inventive game, it is the sort of game that we need more of, which is a fresh idea, a game that you don't always see, something you new, something that is willing to try something different. I mean, let's be honest, when a certain game about jump scares came out, how many other games jumped on the bandwagon and were carving copies? Dozens. When DayZ hit big and Rust hit big, how many other copies did they have? Dozens. The gaming industry needs to pick back up and start doing what I call the Atari era of gaming and the Nintendo era of gaming, uh, the Sega Master System era of gaming, which was, uh, and even, let's be honest here, the Amiga and Commodore 64 era of gaming, which was inventive, innovative titles that were not afraid to be something, oh god, that's gonna hurt, that were not afraid to be something different and try something new. And studios now, I feel, some are afraid to do that. Digital Cherries is not afraid to do that. Oh, yeah. Dig it. Yeah, I'll take a silver on it. Oh, power giver and the worst accuracy. Suck at that. Alright, guys. Well, I am out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You all have a wonderful day, guys. And, uh... I probably should have hit disconnect, eh? Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And, uh, click the like button and check us out next time.